we shall be looking at the meaning of a function and how to solve question involving function. A function is defined as a set of ordered pairs in which no two distinct or different elements have the same first entry. For example, if I have this a one and b two and three c three. So this is actually an example of a function. But this can be transformed to be into this a b c and one two three so this is called domain and this part is called co domain in this the domains and codomain they are equal. So if you are asked to find the range, the range now, the range is same thing with a codomain. I use one, two, and three. This will be your range. But what if in a case where the domains and codomain they are not equal, and I have like maybe a B, C, and I have my code domains to be one, two, three, and four. So in this case, the domains they are just three, and code domains are four elements. So in this case, if you are asked to find the range, range now will be equal to one, two, three. So this is the range. The composition of a real function is actually a way in which a two variables or a two real function can be joined together. Assuming we have two real valued function, maybe f not g of x and G, uh, G not f of x. How can we now solve this or how can we match the valued function? If you have f not G of x, this is same thing as f as a function of G of x. Square bracket is used to indicate the function. Then if I have G naught F of X and this is same thing as G as a function of F of X. Consider this example. If F of X is equal to 2x plus 3 and g of x is equal to x plus 4 then we are asked to find i f not g of x and i i g not f of x To solve this, we've already known that f not g of x is same thing as g f as a function of g of x, and this is same thing as f as a function of. We already know that g of x is x plus four x plus. 
So what the expression is telling us is at f of x, substitute x to be equal to x plus 4. So that is, I have f of x to be this. f of x to be this. Now, 2x plus 3. Now, f into g of x will be equal to 2 into the g, which is x plus 4 plus 3. This is equal to 2 multiplied by x will give me 2x. 2 multiplied by 4 will give me 8. And half plus 3. This is same thing as 2x. 8 plus 3 will give me 11. And this is our final answer. For g not f of x, this is equal to g as a function of f of x. And f of x is 2x plus 4. Plus 3, not 4. Plus 3. And we know that g of x is same thing as x plus 4. So this implies that g f of x is equal to 2x plus 3 plus 4. That is, whenever you see x, you substitute f of x, which is 2x plus 3. And this is equal to 2x. 3 plus 4 will give me 7. And this is our final answer. Consider this example. Example 2. If f of x is equal to x plus 1 and g of x is equal to x minus 1, then we are asked to find f g of x. So to solve this, we know that f not f not g of x is same thing as f as a function of g of x, which is same thing as function of g of x is x minus one, and we have our f of x to be this. So f g of x will give me x minus 1 plus 1. That is replacing x with x minus 1. Then this is equal to the minus 1 and 1 will go. I'm left with x and this is my final answer. The third example Assuming f of x is equal to 2x plus 1 and g of x is equal to f of x minus 2. Now we should find g naught f into minus 2. To solve this type of question, first of all, solve g not f of x. So 
So when you get your final answer, you substitute x to 2. Okay, let's solve g naught f of x. It's same thing as g naught f and this is same thing as g into 2x plus 1. Therefore, g f of x will be equal to Four into two x plus one minus two. This is equal to four. Four times two x will give me eight x. Four times one will give me four. And minus two. And this is equal to eight x. 4 minus 2 will give me plus 2. But remember this condition. x is equal to negative 2. So if we substitute x to be negative 2 in this expression, x to be equal to negative 2 in this, then we have that this is 8 multiplied by minus 2 plus 2. So 8 multiplied by minus 2 will give me minus 16 plus 2. And this will be equal to minus 16 plus 2 will give me minus 14. But because of this uh, sign of magnitude, it, our answer will be 14. Because, example 4. If x if f of x is equal to the square root of x and g of x is equal to 1 plus 2x and we should find f naught g 13 divided by 3. This is a bit similar to our example four, example three rather. So firstly, we have to solve our solve for f not g of x. Then at the end, we substitute the value of x to be thirteen divided by three. So f not g of x is same thing as f as a function of g of x, which is same thing as f as a function of 1 plus 2x. Then f g of x will be equal to the square root of 1 plus 2x. And our x is equal to 13 divided by 3. So substituting 13 divided by 3 in this expression, we have is the square root of 1 plus 2 multiplied by 13 divided by 3. And this is equal to square root of 1 plus 2 multiplied by 13 will give me 26, which is 26 divided by 3. So taking the LCM of this, remember this is something as 1 divided by 1, and the LCM will be 3. 1 divided by 3 will give me 3. 3 multiplied by 1 is 3, plus 3 divided by 3 is 1. Multiplied by 26 is 26. This is what I have. And this is equal to 3 plus 26 will give me 29 divided by 3. 
then 29 divided by 3 will give me 9.6666 so approximately it to 67 to solve this we are going to take the nearest less whole number not the nearest whole number so the nearest whole number here is 10 but the nearest less whole number is 9 so this is the square root of 9 and that should be equal to square root of 9 will give me 3 so this is our final answer for example 5 assuming f of x is equal to x and g of x is equal to 2x minus 5. Now we are asked to find the range range the range of g naught f of x range so in this case how are we going to solve it for us to solve the range let's first of all get what the g naught f of x is then from the linear equation we will get then we'll solve for the range g naught f of x is same thing as g as a function of f of x and which is g as a function of x magnitude and g f of x is same thing as 2 x minus 5 to solve for the range of this equation we know that this magnitude will not allow x to take a negative value so for us to determine the highest i mean the lowest negative value now we have to set x to be zero so if we assume x to be zero then we have that this is equal to two zero minus five so this will give me zero and this will be minus five so any other number we add here will make x to be positive the highest positive like if i add 100 i will get the high so the best thing is it, since it keeps increasing to infinity, we can make the range to be like starting from minus 5 to infinity. So our range now will be equal to minus 5 straight to infinity. And this is our final answer. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to email us. And as well, do remember to follow this channel. Thank you for